Uh, my name is Megan Coons. I'm 25 and I'm the band director at Northwest High School. Technically, I started four years ago when I was student teaching. My mentor teacher was obviously the head director here and I hopped on as staff for the marching band and I just stayed on. Um, I always knew I wanted to be a high school band director. That was something that I had decided when I was in high school. And so that's what I went to college for. I studied music education and I tried to be as hands-on as I could with schools in the community. I tried to be as involved as I could and get to know the kids really well. Everything just kind of fell into place over time. So I guess I'm where I'm meant to be. Being head field commander, you have to be the good role model for the band. You can't just slack off whenever you want. And it's also a lot of timekeeping, because without you and the coordination with percussion, then the band will fall apart. When we perform well, and we have really good runs and rehearsals, then the good is just an overpowering feeling. I think they delivered. Like by the last performance, I was really happy with where they were. I wish the season could have been longer. Most of them bought in. Most of the kids bought in and they were excited about what we do and they loved the show and they went out there and they performed every single time. And I hope that like in seasons to come that we'll have more students buy in to what we're doing. I wasn't a very athletic person for a good three years. And then I thought, hey, it looks cool, and my parents are gonna make me do sports anyways, so I can knock out a credit too. My experience in marching band, it's been fantastic. They do take what they do so seriously, and I think people on the outside of our sport or our art form, like they don't understand. They don't understand like how much athleticism it takes to play an instrument well and to play this music well. I really wanted to be online in my junior year, but I didn't have the chops. I, wouldn't, I didn't have the necessary thing to get me to where I needed to be. The hardest thing I have to do in marching band, straight up, is probably conditioning at first. If you're not an athletic person, you're going to hate it. But it's going to make you better as, it's going to make you healthier, I guess. You'll be in a healthier state, you'll be able to run longer, you'll be able to actually do sets. And the hardest thing is probably also trying to make um, where you're going, your dot, trying to make that when you're supposed to is pretty hard. I would describe it as coordinating objects while moving. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a crazy day, especially like homecoming in particular, I guess. And then with it just being homecoming, like the student body's really into what you're doing. The admin and teachers in the building are super excited. And it's like a, I mean, we've had a whole week of festivities to celebrate homecoming. And then it's like finally here and just a big build up to it. So I think all of that helps make it like this big, exciting performance. There is a lot of unnecessary drama. It's not the marching man itself, it's the people in the marching man. But I would probably say the fact that I wasn't already a little bit athletic. The culture of the band, let's see. The culture of the band is like, we have this, we have this thing, like the Harry Potter thing, like 
we are we're, we like our, we stay positive. Just like we don't bring any negative vibes in the in the room because that doesn't only mess us up, but it messes up the music as well. So, however we translate it, people won't pick it up. I believe there is a pressure to perform, but since we are in Color Guard, that pressure is completely like dignified. I'm trying to find the word. My biggest challenge as a performer is entertaining the audience, putting on a show, um, because sometimes we have bad days and other people put you in bad moods and getting over that sometimes can be a struggle. It's family, because it works out and there's some stuff that doesn't work out and there's a lot of different relationships between the music and the people. My biggest goal as a performer is to put on a show that people enjoy and to also win. It's so fun. It's so like, there's just so much adrenaline. That's around the time of the season where like, you've got it, you're ready to perform it. Like you're comfortable with it, you know the music, you know the drill, you know what's gonna happen. The thing that made me wanna get into marching band was probably watching them and seeing how uniform they were and how they knew where to go even though they didn't have to look at the ground. My biggest challenge was actually getting on the line. Yeah. Uh, what kind of things did you have to overcome? Shyness, like, oh, I was always scared to get on the field, be in the pit, even though I knew that I was gonna be in the front. Like, practicing all the time, all the, the whole book, the eight, chicken. In a leadership, Role. I can see myself being in a leadership role. I want to try out for drum major, hopefully in the next couple years. Halftime, as usual, like perform our normal halftime stuff. And then after third quarter, the band gets dismissed early and then they go and get ready for the homecoming dance and the directors clean everything up. I don't feel like the show ever reached its full potential. And also, we're just still trying to find our Viking band. Today we're going to the first ever Stewart County Band Between the Lakes competition. Um, one of my goals is to perform the best that we possibly can, put it all on the field. My goal is to at least be top five of the day. I think so. Our run for our school yesterday was really good, so I'm expecting good stuff. I would say like contest days, like the morning is super relaxed, like, but then you get on that bus and you know that the next time you, like, when you get off, it's going to be go time. And so the bus rides to contests are sometimes a little eerie quiet. One the very last one of the show. So, what we're gonna do? Horns are up. So, Emily just cut you off, and she's gonna present you, but you're gonna keep your horns up and you're listening to the voiceover. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna hear it say, the ones who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. And on do, you're gonna just snap your horn down. I told Brandon too. Contest days are just very focused. Like the kids are super excited. They love contest days. They love going and like hanging out with other bands, and they love going and um, you know networking and getting to see other people's shows. And it's you know really cool to take them and show them other kids that do the same stuff they do. They can appreciate the hard work and the countless hours of preparation for a seven-minute show. So. We forgot our plumes, and we also forgot a drum major glove. So now we don't have plumes for our hats, and we only have one glove, and we need two gloves. Have we found a solution? We have. So one of our parents is married to a cop, so she doesn't get pulled over very often. So she's driving as fast as she can back to the school, and she's going to grab the plumes and the glove, which have both been grabbed, and she's now on her way back 
and we perform in 51 minutes. So we'll see if she makes it back in time. We like warm up and staff is, our staff is the best about like hyping our kids up and getting them excited and like inspiring them to go out and tell their story. That same heart and that same passion, okay? I love you guys, you guys are amazing. Okay, like you made your principal cry on Friday, okay? So let's, uh, let's play, let's play our show. Just ignore what's going on over there, it's fine. Here we go. Three out of four. It's three out of four. This is the last chance to get critiques to prepare for MSMI. Um, but it's the first chance to impress these judges. You guys went and performed a pep rally on Friday and you brought your entire student body together with your music, the music that you created. That is the ensemble I want to see on the field. If we perform like that and we play with that much heart and that much passion, <laughs> and, and, and just excitement to do what we do, I don't care how these scores pan out. I don't. Because it's all I can ever ask of you is 100% and that's what I will be getting, okay? I want you to go out there, I want you to be excited, I want you to perform for your audience, okay? Tell them a story. When you perform this show like you believe it, like you believe the story that you are telling, they will buy into it, okay? So perform it like that. We love you guys. We are excited. This is going to be a great show. You have a great panel of judges. You've got a crowd that's excited to see you. You have faculty from your school that drove all the way here. I mean, it's not super far, but they drove, spent their Saturday to come and watch you perform. Give them something to talk about on Monday, okay? Get in your show lines. We will see you on the other side. And then they go out and you just get to like sit back and watch your kids do what they do and, and take the reins. And it's scary because in that eight minutes, like you're not in control. At a rehearsal or at a football game, I can go fix something if I see that it's wrong or if someone's instrument breaks, I can, we can get it fixed or whatever. But in that eight minutes, like you're not in control of the situation. Because I came for you. I pushed humanity forward. They've never let me down at a performance, ever. And when you finally get it right, like how good it feels to, to finally have it. And so yeah, there's, we, we cry, we cry a lot. Once that performance is over, everyone kind of breathes a sigh of relief and we enjoy the rest of the day and we watch bands and eat food and hang out to awards. There's a sense of pride, but like you look around the ensemble and like you see so many faces that are, you're gonna graduate out. And there are kids that like you've grown up with. Like you've, like I as a director, have grown up with these kids. Like I, you know, especially this year's seniors, I came in um, for my first year of student teaching when they were freshmen. And so I've been through four years with them and like I've watched them grow and blossom and to look around at the last performance today and like see these faces that next year will be in the military or be off in college or in the workforce, you know, it's, that is bittersweet because they like have such a special place in our ensemble and I can't imagine next year without them. One thing that keeps me coming back to marching band is probably um, the fact that I have a whole bunch of friends in here and it's like a family in here. I also like what we do out on the field and I like playing my instrument for the people. So. Because it's just something that keeps me up like whenever I'm down. I think it means everything, especially in a sport like marching band. I feel like it motivates me in a way to help me strive to be better, to motivate people to be better as musicians. I was really sad to see the season come to an end and that sounds crazy because halfway through I was exhausted. Halfway through I was, was like, man, I'd be so glad when we can, you know, just roll through the rest of the year in concert band. And then the last performance came and I, I was so proud of what we had accomplished 
but I was really sad to see it come to the, to an end. And I guess that's what makes me so anxious to like dive into the next show is because I'm just like, that's my favorite. That's my favorite part of my job is the marching band aspect of it. So it doesn't, I don't know that there's really a sigh of relief. It's just like excited to get started again.